Welcome to Discover Manufacturing Week. I'm Cindy Farah and I'm your host and I'm also the project coordinator for Discover Manufacturing. And I'm really excited to be here and be part of Manufacturing Week. It's such a great opportunity for schools and for companies to come together through these webinars and for students to learn a lot more about manufacturing and all the different types of careers and possibilities. So we have an interesting program lined up for you and you'll be hearing from two companies we have Cooper Standard and Sound Off Signal joining us today. And they're each gonna be presenting for about 10 minutes. And then during that time, if you have questions, please use your Q&A function on your toolbar to submit the questions. And we will definitely save time at the end to answer your questions. So for all the high school seniors who are watching, we are offering, Discover Manufacturing is offering scholarships to seniors in West Michigan who are interested in pursuing a career in manufacturing. So just check out our website and we have the application and the information there for you. Uh, we would appreciate it today if everyone who is watching the webinar would complete a survey after our webinar today. And for students who complete the survey, you will be entered into a random drawing to receive a $10 Amazon e-gift card. And we will select 20 students. So please remember to complete the survey. Okay, so with that, we are ready to get started with our first company, and we will begin with Cooper, um, Cooper Standard, and we have Jim Montine here. Hello, Jim. Hello, Sandy. Thank you for inviting us to participate in uh, Discover Manufacturing. Oh, you're welcome. We really appreciate you being here, and we're excited to hear a lot more about your company. Excellent. I'll hand it over to you, and Excellent. we'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Thanks. My name is Jim Montine. I'm plant manager for Cooper Standard here in Spring Lake. Uh, Cooper Standard is a leading automotive supplier of uh, sealing systems and fluid transfers like fuel lines and brake lines headquartered in Northville, Michigan. Uh, we operate in 21 countries, 119 facilities, 25,000 employees with $2.3 billion in sales. Cooper Standard acquired this facility in 2018 from Lauren Manufacturing, and we are one of the few sites that is non-automotive. Our specialty is plastic extrusion moldings for building and commercial um, industries. So we do doors and window seals, uh, interior trim, and stuff for commercial trucks. We have 244,000 employees and about 100 employees, or 244,000 square feet and about 100 employees. Uh, since the acquisition, We've been able to leverage Cooper standard size to increase our capital investment and provide additional resources for our employees. Mm -hmm. Yet we've been able to maintain our family feel atmosphere right here in Spring Lake. Mm -hmm. For me and for our employees, it's the best of both worlds. So let's hear from two of our employees and watch a short video. First, we're going to hear from Kendrick Lucas, who was uh, our maintenance, uh, recently promoted to our maintenance supervisor and followed up by Isaac Lampy, who recently joined us as a plastic engineer. Hello, my name is Kendrick Lucas. I am the maintenance supervisor here at Cooper Standard, and I have been here for about eight years. I also went to the Career Line Tech Center and studied auto mechanics. Behind me, you can see a picture of our processing facility. One thing that I really like about working at Cooper Standard is how helpful everyone is. Everyone here has an open door policy and they are all willing to do anything to help you succeed at your job. Now our process starts out with plastic pellets such as these and those go into extruders. Extruders are basically just large screws that are heated that melt the pellets and mix the pellets. After that, it is pushed through a die, which shapes it into the final profile that we are looking for. After that, it runs into a calibration tank, which is basically just a large water tank that cools the parts and hardens the plastic. After that, it's run through a puller, which is what pulls the plastic through that tank. And then at the end, it goes to a cutter, which cuts it to length. Now, as you can see behind me, there is a lot of machines in this building. We have over 400 production machines. With all of that being said, there is a lot of skill that goes into working in maintenance here. You know, you must understand electrical, mechanical, 
hydraulic, pneumatic, PLCs, thermodynamics, VFDs, welding, reading schematics, the list goes on. One practice that we have here at Cooper Standard is lockout tagout, and that not only keeps you safe while working on these machines, it also keeps others around you safe. Now in maintenance, we don't only work on the machines here, we also are maintenance for the entire facility. That means everything under this roof we work on. That's plumbing, electrical, HVAC, tile, drywall, grout, lighting, doors and windows, everything. We also deal with the hazardous waste that we generate. Now it sounds like there's a lot going on, but we do have very good systems here to make everything run smoothly. One main system that maintenance uses is called the preventive maintenance system, and that generates um, tasks that we need to complete. Those tasks come to me, and I hand those tasks out to my techs so that they understand what they need to do each day. Now with me taking this new position, we are in need of more maintenance techs, especially on third shift. We definitely need one because we currently do not have one. One thing I really like about working here at Cooper Standard is I never know what I'm gonna do when I show up. At Cooper Standard, our vision, driving value through culture, innovation, and results, describes an exciting journey we've been on as we strive to take our company from good to great. Our goal? to become a top 30, top five global automotive supplier and continue building value for our employees, customers, and shareholders. Cooper Standard is made up of employees with diverse backgrounds and experience. Our employees not only represent a cross section of society, but they also help bring differing perspectives and new ideas. Learning to value and respect our differences is the key to working together to achieve superior results. Our commitment to excellence includes a commitment to a high standard of ethics in all of our business dealings. We must operate with high integrity in everything we do, making the right decisions and taking the right actions. As a leading supplier in the automotive industry, making car parts is what we do, but we are so much more. Our employees are actively involved in our communities. From building projects to fundraisers, they constantly demonstrate their commitment to our communities. Cooper Standard believes in a total safety culture with safe and healthy working conditions. We also believe in a respectful work environment, free of harassment, where every employee feels comfortable to perform at their best. These are essential in our pursuit of world-class operations. We work hard each day to deliver world-class products, processes, and services that our customers expect and deserve. We rely on our employees to produce high quality products from initial design to the final product and everything in between. Cooper Standard has implemented lean manufacturing across all facilities to optimize our overall performance while achieving cost savings. Embracing our values enables us to fully embrace our DNA to collaborate, innovate and accelerate. To be effective collaborators, we must listen to the ideas of fellow employees and their different perspectives. They bring new approaches and technologies to a process to solve problems and create new value. Innovation comes in many forms and from many different parts of the company. Listening and learning from our employees provides us the opportunity to apply new innovations and helps spur new ideas far beyond today's way of doing business. Working together with an open mind moves ideas and innovations forward, accelerating our progress and realizing our goals faster. Together, by using the Cooper Standard values to guide our daily activities, we help make our company a world-class company, as well as a great place to work for all employees. I'm a manufacturing engineer at Cooper Standard. I'm kind of getting into my background. I'm a Cooper's Little High School alumni. Um, they, off they offered um, two plastics programs while I was there, which kind of piqued my interest in the plastics program, um, where I attended Ferris State University, uh, which holds a 99% job placement rating out of college. With that being said, I was able to obtain three internships in the local area, or you can choose to go out of the state. With that, I was able to live at home while getting paid for my internships, and then contribute that money towards college. After that, I was able to gain industry experience, where I was then ended up at Cooper Standard, where I've been for eight months. Um, 
At Cooper Standard, we have 254 dyes with 515 part numbers and 94 customers, which means that you're gonna come into work every day and you're not gonna see the same thing. Whereas if you work in the automotive industry, you're gonna work with the big three, you're gonna see the same part, you're gonna see the same color. Here, we have 12 different materials and colorants with different durometers. So that means you're gonna come into work, you're gonna see a different part, potentially a different color, and also you're gonna be able to work with different things every single day. The other thing I like about Cooper Standard is the family friend atmosphere. Uh, a lot of people have been here for 20 plus years and all of them have taken me into their wing and shown me things that I didn't learn in college and I didn't learn in internships. And there's a lot of value being obtained on the floor with the people who see it every day. So that's one of the many things I think I like about here. So as our facility continues to grow and evolve, we have a variety of positions available from manufacturing engineer to training specialists to highly skilled maintenance and setup techs and line operators. So again, Cindy, thank you for the opportunity to participate. Look forward to answering any questions in the Q&A. Well, thank you, Jim. Great job with your presentation. We enjoyed your video. Thanks again. Okay, so for our next company, we have SoundOff Signal here, and I would like to start with their company video. SoundOff Signal was established in 1992. Its headquarters are located in Hudsonville, Michigan. SoundOff Signal has over 140,000 square feet with three facilities and employs over 300 people. The design, engineering, testing, and manufacturing of our products occurs in Hudsonville, Michigan. Our core values include building trust, having a passion for outstanding customer service, demonstrating a live excellence attitude, and promoting an entrepreneurial spirit. 25 years ago, right about now, I got the opportunity of a lifetime, and it has been a delightful experience. As a company, we deliver innovative products, proudly hold one of the industry's fastest lead times, build strong relationships with our employees, customers, and suppliers, deliver superior customer service, and provide expert technical support. Business is done with honesty and integrity. Awesome. We love watching the company videos and learning more about the companies, but we also like hearing from some of their employees in person. So today we have Jenny Huckstra. She's here from Sound Off Signal. And I'd like to start with you, Jenny. And I see you have some others with you. So we can't wait to hear from you and learn more about your company. Yeah, thank you so much, Cindy. Uh, Jenny Hoekstra, Talent Acquisition Manager with Sound Off Signal. We are um, joined today with uh, Ryan Patterson, one of our manufacturing team leads on first shift, as well as Juliana Dykstra, our HR employment specialist. Um, a little background on SoundOff is we've been a company for 30 years and uh, we're in Hudsonville. We're a growing company currently with 350 employees, um, but we've got lots of opportunities to add more people to our team here at SoundOff. Um, we primarily make emergency lighting solutions. So most notably in this area, uh, Ottawa County police officers, if you see those light bars and that siren, it was built here right in Hudsonville uh, by our teams on our production site. Um, but we also are in the fire industry, the um, emergency industry with ambulances, as well as the
the off-road market and construction market. So basically anything that you can put a flashing light on, um, our teams that work for people like Ryan Patterson um, are able to build them here at Sound Off. And uh, we're super proud of the work that we do to protect those that serve um, and also make sure that we are getting to the scene of an accident or a fire or an emergency situation quickly and safely. And that's where, uh, that's what Sound Off is all about. Um, like the video mentioned, we uh, are built on four core values of building trust and uh, teamwork and customer service, the sense of living ex excellence and being entrepreneurial. And right now, I am super excited to uh, introduce two of our rock stars that we really believe are uh, doing an awesome job here at Sound Off uh, from a production standpoint and then from an office standpoint, uh, Ryan Patterson and Juliana Dykstra. So... Good morning, thanks for being here. I'm Juliana Dykstra, one of our employment specialists. Uh, so my main role is I staff our production floor. So I think one of the cool things about Sound Off is that yes, we are a manufacturing facility, but we also have all of our office staff here as well uh, and really love to blend those two together. So we have engineers out on the floor working with our production associates. I hire for all of our production floor. Um, so it's super cool because I get to engage with employees that are building these lights um, and doing this meaningful work. I've been with the company for a year, uh, graduated from college last year, so very you know new in my experience in the workforce, but absolutely love who Sound Off is uh, and the culture that we've created while we grow to be a world-class manufacturing facility. Thanks. And I'm joined by uh, with Ryan to um, first shift manufacturing team lead, who's leading um, our number one lighting line as well as the siren line. So Ryan, can you talk to us a little bit about um, what made you choose Sound Off? Um, good morning. Uh, for me, uh, I came from a bigger company, uh, so I felt like when I interviewed for this position over here at Sound Off, it was a smaller, more family-driven uh, kind of company. So they kind of felt like a person here and they loved you. Uh, one thing that I loved about was their involvement with the community. Um, I coach high school football, so they're big on me doing that. And they also help support us in the football program and, and other things uh, in the community. So. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, like Brian and, and Ryan mentioned, uh, we offer eight hours of community service for all of our employees. So they're able to actually uh, serve outside of uh, their normal work hours. So that's one of the benefits of not only being an employee owned company, but a company that really has roots planted in Hudsonville. Uh, we wanna make sure that our people understand that being a servant leader is something that we're really proud of and we wanna continue to do that great work. Um, Juliana, can you walk us through just kind of a day in the life of what a typical you know day as an HR employment specialist yeah, might be? Absolutely. Yeah, so my day looks different every day, which I really like. Uh, majority of it consists of interviewing. So uh, we obviously are active recruiting right now for employees, looking for employees on our manufacturing lines on both first and second shifts. Uh, we're a two shift operation. We're four 10 hour days. So Monday through Thursday uh, gives you a long weekend, time to relax and enjoy time with family and friends. Um, but majority of my day is spent interviewing employees, obviously going out on the floor and saying hi to different people, um, you know, really focusing on that retention piece of things. So making sure employees feel like they're heard, they're seen. Uh, and so that, I would say that's majority of what my day is spent on top of, you know, employee relations and other, you know, things that come up. But definitely um, spending time with the employees and getting to know them and, and making sure that they enjoy work while they're here. And I think that's a big piece that I want to make sure that you understand. Um, while we are a company that continues to grow, we really believe in making people feel like a name and not just a number. So um, part of our mission is knowing people's story, knowing where they come from, making them feel really welcome here at Sound Off. So um, you are not something that just clocks in and clocks out. You're actually a person here, um, not only to the human resources department, but to our executive team. And really that filters down from a top from a top-down approach of making people, you know, the heartbeat of our company. Um, Ryan, can you talk, walk us through a little bit about what it looks like to lead a team, the largest team out there for um, for first shift uh, in manufacturing, and what a day in the life of uh, of a team lead looks like? Uh, for a team lead, I uh, I oversee four different areas. So we have the siren line, which is all your sirens you're going to see in ambulances, fire trucks, uh, police cars. Um, the uh, light bar line, which is stuff you'll see on top of police cars, obviously. Um, and then the Empower line, which is a lot of these small lights that you see on side of cop cars by the license plates. Um, so multiple different areas. So on a daily day for like one of my team members, 
is we'd come in in the morning, uh, kind of go over what our goal was for today, what we had to get out, what customers were, and our number one customers for the day type of thing. And then we'd send you out to your different areas. So one thing that's nice about here is you're not doing the same thing every day. So one day you could be working on the siren line, the next day building light bars, the next day building uh, M-Power. So it's a big variety, so you're not stuck doing the same thing. And also throughout the day, there's different stations and operations in those jobs that, so you're mixing up throughout the day. So it makes it pretty nice that uh, you're doing different things every day, learning different stuff. Um, so it's a pretty fun job actually. Yeah, good, awesome. Um, and finally, I just wanted to, you know, as to, to close out the interview portion of our event, um, what, you know, what keeps you guys coming back to sound off? Um, obviously still new in your career, you've been here uh, for a year. Um, what do you think uh, makes you want to continue to plant roots here as an employee owned company um, and uh, continue your career with sound off? Yeah, I think for me, it's the people and the mission. So I love the employees. I love the people that I work with. Um, obviously that's a huge part of you know, my day to day and, and every employee's day to day, but also who we are and what we do. Um, you know, we're a family oriented company, we're growing, what we make matters. Um, during COVID, we were technically essential because we provide to those who serve. So I think there's meaningful work behind what we do and that's what keeps me coming back every day. Um, for me, I think uh, one thing that's keeping me here is that we're a growing company. Um, currently we're going through an expansion, so we're doubling in size. Uh, the opportunity to grow in this company, move up, um, especially with manufacturing, we have different levels. So you come in at an entry level, but you have the opportunity to grow faster. Um, I think one thing that's different about this place than with previous places I've been at is it's a smaller company, but uh, the presidents and VPs are out there walking on the floor. You get to know them on a first name basis and talk about different things that you guys have in common, which I think is different than most companies I've been with. Yeah. Awesome. So that's a little bit from Ryan Patterson and Juliana Dykstra. Um, very excited to be sharing our, our passion for sound off signal uh, today. And we have a variety of positions open from first shift to second shift manufacturing, um, engineering, sales, customer service, you name it. Uh, you can find all of our jobs listed at soundoffsignal.com backslash careers. So very excited for the question and answer portion. Um, and thank you, Cindy, for having us. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Well, thank you, Jenny. And thank you, Ryan and Juliana. You guys did a great job with your presentation. We're so happy to hear from you. And yes, next we are going to head into our Q&A segment. And I'd like to introduce you to Jerry Hill. He's from Discover Manufacturing. He's the industry council lead, and he'll take it over from here. Hi, Cindy, and thanks for having me. Great to be here. Ryan, the first question I have is for you, sir. So uh, one of our students wants to know, do you only make things with flashing lights or are there different things that you manufacture? Uh, well, on the siren line, there's no lights at all. It's uh, basically, we have all the, all the different sounds and noises and microphones that you will see in a uh, police vehicle, uh, fire truck, all that stuff is built on that line. So we're not just building lights, but basically anything that goes in a fire truck, police car, ambulance, uh, even construction type vehicles, we uh, make stuff for so. Terrific, thank you. Juliana, the next question for you. Um, students always wanna know what kind of skills they need to start an entry level job or what do you look for in an individual when you're hiring? Yeah, that's a great question. So it's actually interesting. One of the cool parts of sound off um, is we believe in our training so much that someone doesn't technically have to have manufacturing experience. We will train them from the ground up. Um, a lot of the things we do are new technologies that other companies aren't doing yet. So it's actually easier to train someone who doesn't have as much experience. Um, the things that we're looking for are our core values. So are they going to be here on time? Are they going to be a glass half full attitude type of person? Are they going to be able to work well with other employees, you know, engage in what we're doing? Um, so not necessarily from like a hard skill standpoint, but almost more of soft skills um, will serve an employee much better than, um, you know, any hard manufacturing skills that they have. Great. How old do you have to be to start a job at Sound Off Signal? Yeah, so 18. Um, so, you know, we have hired employees straight out of high school. Um, definitely something that we're interested in. You know, we need people to build all of these lights and sirens that we make. So 18 um, is when you're able to start working for Sound Off. Yeah. All right. Another question for you. Can you tell us a little bit about what a 
average day looks like for one of your folks on the production floor? Um, typically when you come in, um, everything is a, pro a multiple stage process. So there's multiple stations. So say given on a Monday, I come in, I'm gonna be working in station one on sirens. So in station one on siren, basically I'm gonna be building uh, the amplifiers for the sirens. Um, and then throughout the day, I'll rotate down the line. Um, so after we have multiple breaks during the day, so our first break, then I'll rotate to the next station where I'll make the control panel or the remote for that siren. And then the next station, I'll uh, after our next break, I'll uh, program that. And then at the end of the line, we pack it. So basically from start to finish, we're building with basically a bare board and put it in a box and send it to shipping. So that's basically a typical day on the siren line as the same as light bar line or uh, empire line, so. Thanks, Ryan. Jen, one or two questions here for you. Um, one of the students would like to know whether you offer apprenticeship programs or any educational programs while students are, or while your workers are employed. Yeah, that's an awesome question. Um, we actually really believe in lifelong learning here at Sound Off. So we do have a tuition reimbursement program. So while students, uh, a lot of times we'll have um, uh, new high school students that are trying to um, not only work, but also go to, go to school. Um, and we have tuition reimbursement uh, for uh, different programs like that. Um, so yes, we very much believe in lifelong learning. And that is something that um, our founder, George Borchter, and our entire executive team really believes in supporting. Um, so we do really encourage that, yes. Terrific. One last question for you guys, and then I'm gonna switch over to Jim, but tell me what it means to be employee owned. Why should that be important to a young person starting out with you? Yeah, so an awesome uh, perk about being an employee owned uh, company is that really we all get to act like business owners. So we have the opportunity after six months of employment to buy into company owned stock. So as we continue to grow, um, our stock has continued to mature over the years. And really we have made, um, we have made some people uh, very happy and comfortable in their retirement. So as a young person, being able to uh, come into a company that is employee owned where you can buy stocks and actually be and act like a business owner. Um, we really believe that is a way to set up people for financial health and wealth in the future. Thank you so much, Jen. Thank yeah. you. Jim, we're gonna take it over to you. One of our students would like to know um, about opportunities for advancement for entry level employees and how that works. So we have a pretty set program for employees to go through a set of training. So they'll come in as a line operator, for example, and then we'll train them to like a level C operator, which means they can set up and tear down the line, then a level B and then a level A, and then ultimately like a setup deck. So you're actually setting up the line from scratch. Uh, so we have the set process and for each increment, there's a pay increase, so. Terrific. Can you give us an idea what that pay increase looks like, Jim? So I start out at 15 or whatever, and then kind of walk us through. Yep. So there's, uh, we start off at about uh, roughly 14, 50 an hour. And then for the first level, there's a 75 cent increase and then another 75 and then another 75. So it's a progression through the steps. So. Perfect. Yep. Hey, what subjects do you feel are most important for a student studying in high school to be successful in your company when they come to you? So we do have a really robust training program. So they don't really need a lot of experience when they come here. We do a lot of on-site training. But as you heard from Kendrick in the um, his video, there is a lot to learn. We have lots of different equipments. Uh, we have lots of different customers. Um, so we are unique in the Cooper Standard industry where they have a limited group of customers and limited things we have 90 some customers. Uh, so we're doing changeovers like constantly. Would you say math or chemistry or what are some of the subjects that students are, are dealing with now in their high school careers would serve them uh, at least foundationally when they come to work for you? So math is certainly high uh, because we have to do quality checks like constantly. So we're doing these um, quality checks measuring our scrap, measuring our yield, um, all things that we teach them to do and how to generate their own SBC charts, so. Terrific. Yep. Jim, at Cooper Standard, how many positions would you say that you have open currently? Um, so as we continue to grow and evolve, uh, that number is constantly changing. 
but we do have a number of positions open today that you can find on our website. Terrific. Do you offer any job shadow opportunities or internships or other ways for young people to get um, some experience or to learn more about what you do? Um, yeah, so we do have uh, the tuition reimbursement program for students. So if you come here and want to continue in education, uh, absolutely we can, uh, support all that. So. Okay, great. If I'm a young person, and I wanted to come do a job shadow or work with one of your engineers for a couple of hours. Do you offer those kind of opportunities? Yes, we can certainly investigate that with them. You know, we do have an apprentice program through Cooper Standard. Terrific, terrific. And I guess last question, Jim, if you could tell us just a little bit more about the culture at Cooper Standard and why it's such a great company to work for, I think that'd be a great way to wrap up. Okay, so we have 25 extrusion lines. So lots of variability, lots of changing. And we are small enough to actually know everybody's name on the shop floor. So we do really enjoy that culture, that family feel culture here. Um, and being part of a big organization, we have lots of resources to pull from. So like I said, it's the best of both worlds for us. That's great. Thank you, Jim. Thanks for your time this morning. I'm sure that uh, Cindy's gonna thank everyone, but Cindy, back to you. Hey, one of our educators, Cindy, also needs a little bit of help with where to find the survey link for their students. So if you could uh, go over that, that would be great. Oh, sure. I saw that and I will. I just, first of all, want to thank you, Jerry. And I want to thank Jim. I want to thank Jenny and the team. We're so happy to have Cooper Standard and Sound Off Signal with us today. We really appreciate your time. And I really appreciate all the students and the educators joining us today. Um, so yes, so all the links can be found in the educator toolkit. We have the survey links, we also have some information on apprenticeships in there. And then we have the link to, um, we have the Discover Manufacturing Scholarship. And that can also just be found on the discovermanufacturing.com page. Um, so if you have any trouble though, finding those links, you can reach out to me and I'll make sure you have them because we would really appreciate you filling out the survey after today's webinar. We hope you enjoyed our program. And we have recorded this, so it will be posted to our Discover Manufacturing YouTube channel in the next, probably the next week or so. So check that out. And thanks again, everybody. We hope you have a wonderful day.